Hey folks, this is Big E here. Going to give you a little tutorial on the new course play for Farm Sim 2022. Uh, a lot of people seem to be having a problem with getting used to how course play is functioning. That's integrated with the user interface for Farm Sim 2022. So what you want to do here is you want to pull up your menu. You want to go up here. You want to make sure you click on the vehicle that you want to specifically set up. You click create job. Tab over to course play field work. You can do nearest waypoint or first waypoint. I like to choose first waypoint. Set it. And then you try to get it right on the edge of the field, somewhere right about here. And then set your cursor, generate a course for starting the job. So you click on the open space generator. And this is where you can specifically set how you want it. Now the working width is going to be automatic, so you don't have to worry about that. The headland corners, I like to make sharp. And where this field is going to be really small, I'm just going to choose one for the headland. Now you click generate. And as you can see, a little course generated here on field 45. So you click to close this and you can see everything is highlighted and you click on start job and then go up here exit out go back and what I like to do is it says object A is blocked by an object in reality it's not you should find it What I can do here is stop manually. Now the course is still technically active. So what you want to do here is unfold all the tools. And then what I like to do sometimes is go ahead and then start it. Drive forward. Get up to where the starting point is. bit beyond, stop, and then start the worker again. And as you can see, the green course in the middle that keeps scrolling through, that tells you that course play is active. Now, if you want to set a second worker, which you have to do first, is you have to go over here go back to here and you can see how this is clicked and active we do not want to cancel the job what we want to do is we actually want to click on this guy over here the 7810 okay and then you create the job you again choose field work if oh uh, we got to add the attachment Give me one second. I forgot. So we want to click on oh, gonna give me a little bit of trouble here. There we go. So we're gonna add the attachment. We're going to go forward a little bit here. Okay, so now it's got an attachment assigned. So now you can actually go in here where it has an attachment. And now you can click on Create Job. And now it'll choose Course Play Field Work. So you click that. First waypoint. 
set it right here, click course, see how it says target not on field, because I'm technically not on the field. So you got to click it again, make sure your target is on the field, and now it generates the course before starting the job. So you click the space, again, I want a nice sharp corner. Um, I want to do a couple of headlands here. We're going to do two. Now you click on generate. And see it generates on 46. You click space to close. Start job. And then go there. Exit out. And he should start here shortly. It's blocked by an object. It's going to find the course. Let me go ahead and see if we can nurse him along here. So I'm going to run up here. And I'm going to unfold the cedar. Start it, I'll lower it, drive forward a little bit, and now I'm going to start the worker, and there's the course play. And should start, oh, of course we cannot plant in August. So, let me see, what month are we in real quick? Okay, so I just need to choose canola instead. Okay, let's try this one more time. So now we can plant canola. So now I have course play working. I have the cedar going on field 46. And I have... the harvester going on 45 and he's going to do the headland and then he'll go back and forth and complete that field and the cedar will do the headland and he will keep it a nice sharp corner corner to corner and we'll be good and I've got two workers going course play is working and you don't have any issues whatsoever. You, you can save this course. So for instance, for the Cedar, if you want to save this particular course, make sure you click on the Cedar, the 7810 on this field. You click on the course you can choose field 46. In this case, I, I've got other fields selected here, but you can create a new folder and call it 46. Click OK. So now there's folder 46. Click on Save Course. Choose the folder, and I just put seeding or seed 3 meter hit enter, and now that is saved for field 46. Now I can go back and I can say, okay, I want to save the harvester for field 45. So I do the same thing. I go to course. There's the current course. I want to create a new folder, 45. Click OK. Make sure I'm selecting this vehicle, get in that vehicle, go back to the course, click here so that you've got that vehicle in the background, save 45, and I can just do harvest, and then hit enter. And now I have 45 saved as harvest. 
So what I can do is I can go back and if I want to harvest that field again the exact same way, all I need to do in the future when my crops are ready, I go ahead and I click on the harvester. I click on field 45. I click on load course. Click on that. Click on load course. And then go back over here. And then this will actually say start job. And you click on start job and it'll do the same course over again for that field. There's no limit, there's no restriction. It's just getting used to the new user interface. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. As you can see, they're almost done with the field. And feel free to comment below. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.